tight. Either gonna mess up my shoes, or if I go bare feet, I'm gonna. I don't think that's an option. Couple minutes into this climb, uh, it's pretty steep. Staying close to Yoast. Oh, well, he's right there behind me. Practicing my. Uh, my wheelie skills a little bit. Wheelies on the road bike are a little bit more difficult than on a mountain bike or a BMX bike. Practice makes perfect. Peto Sagan is not the only one. Some of you might be thinking, about my last video where I told you guys I was gonna take a break of two weeks <laughs> people already commented on Strava hey man weren't you not riding for two weeks well I am not gonna ride after today so this is my last ride for the next two weeks I knew this moment was coming I would have to separate with my bike for the whole period of two weeks 14 days 336 hours without a bike. In the meantime, I'm riding up this climb and right now I'm entering this forest with all these freaking tall trees in the same area as Muir Woods State Park. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but check this out. I thought he was right behind me, but I dropped Joe's. Steady, like a diesel. Hello, Fanatics. <laughs> <laughs> Scenery just changed completely. Right now it's almost like I'm riding in some kind of fairy tale forest. I think this is the top and from here it's gonna go down to the dam. They haven't really cleaned the road up here. It's a bit dirty. But these are all these high, tall, tall trees. I shouldn't say big because the sequoias are bigger, wider, but these are taller. Some high trees. How <whistles> fat is this? I'm liking it. Fat out. Right now it's open, obviously, but last, last year I was here and then this road was closed as I wanted to come up this way and descend to the coast. I couldn't get past here, so I had to go all the way back and around. I made a video of that ride. It was a bit before I started vlogging, but you can check it out right here. There's a link video of last year. Let's descend down. It looks a bit dirty, so we'll have to take it easy. It was a pretty tricky descent, not really uh, safe. I wouldn't recommend that for a cyclist, not to go fast, but the view is rewarding. There's a pretty cool dam right here. This is the Alpine Dam. Right there, there's water. Right here, there's not. Hello, cycling fanatics. Uh, we have to go up again. <laughs> I'm still all right, but Joost was having a hard time. <laughs> Go, 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 go! There's no choice. We have to make it back anyway, so we have to continue. Eventually. Just came up the climb. Total ride time right now is four hours, almost 90 kilometers, 45k to go. I'm not sure, I don't think there's a lot of climbing after this, so you should be able to do that in an hour and a half. I hope. There's a descent, and then it's gonna be back to the city. Happy! 
survived another climb. <laughs> One of us is almost dying. It's not me. <laughs> We've descended into Fairfax. From there, there was a bunch of roads in between traffic through a couple of towns. And right now, we're riding through this neighborhood where it's a lot more quiet. These houses are just surrounded by these really, really big trees I was talking about. Must be an awesome place to live. Great views here on the left. Nice roads to ride on. Life is good in California. I must say, the cars here, Respect the cyclists and they give us our space. <laughs> Different words for saying Joost is holding up a whole bunch of traffic. <laughs> hey, we're at the top. City. A quick peek up to the city. We're almost there. I know one guy who's happy about it. For you guys that are on Zwift, Check out these little wooden bridges. It's almost the same. This is so realistic. It's almost the same as Swift. Wow. We are approaching Sausalito. From here on, our route's gonna be the same as the first part of this morning, except in the other direction. So we're gonna go past Sausalito, over the bridge, back into the city. We're almost there, it's gonna be about 20k, maybe a little less, to get back to the bike shop and return those bikes. Welcome to Sausalito. The tour guide of uh, Angel Island told us that houses here, they start at three and a half million. You get a really good view for three and a half million, don't you think? Most tourists get a rental bike, they ride over the bridge to Sausalito and then take the ferry back. And the reason is this hill. For us it's just a hill, it's the last hill of today. For the general tourists, it's a mountain so big they can't overcome it to get back into the city. So they take the ferry. It's not just that little hill, it's going uphill all the way to the bridge from here. So, yeah, it's a decent climb, but for us road cyclists, that's just another challenge. So the bridge bike path opens on different sides on different times of the day. Sometimes the eastern side is open, sometimes the western side is open. We came on one side this morning and now we're going back on the other side, which is cool. I've said this before, bikes owning cars again. Of the bridge is only for bikes all the pedestrians have to go across the street and walk on the other side which is different from this morning where there were bicycles and pedestrians on the same side Very 
foggy out here on the bridge, but today it was awesome. We're gonna head back into the city, enjoy those bikes, and then eat, sleep, and tomorrow we're flying back. Guys, if you like this video, if you like my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're gonna see you next time. See ya! How many hours is that? 14 keer 24, 240 <coughs> en 4, uh, 96, 2, 300, 330, 336. <coughs> This is uh, the, who is that sign on it? The Alpine Dam.